hello guys so in this video i'm going to be explaining something i'm going to be explaining the token aspect the token matrix of the meet dao so now you navigate via the tokens and then you have the token matrix here and here is it meets dao has a token called meet and the token max supply is 100 million all right 100 million meets which means this is the maximum supply this is the maximum they can have ever all right it is not unlimited when max supply is unlimited it simply means it can be minted continuously and maybe more production but this is a max supply which is 100 million and cannot go beyond this in a lifetime so fully diluted valuation is actually the total number of that is the max supply multiplied by the current price of the each miss token all right so if you should multiply 100 million times 0 0.02 it will give you this amount here which is 20 21 million us dollars so that is what we mean by fully diluted market cap or fully diluted valuation in this case so now we talk about the market capitalization what is market capitalization market capitalization is simply circulating supply multiply by the current price of the assets of the token so if you should multiply the price 0 0.022 by 6.9 mil 6 oh sorry 697,598 pieces of mist token it will give you this amount 151,000 dollars so that is market capitalization for you so this actually um how this actually helps you in the meat ecosystem and also in a general crypto knowledge because the same thing that is applicable here applies to every other token out there so knowing how to calculate this helps you both in and out of meat ecosystem so we now have total supply all right total supply here some people they they mistake total supply with maximum supply like i mentioned maximum supply is the total number of tokens that will ever exist all right total supply is actually the number of tokens that are locked that are staked that are distributors that are circulating so at add all of them together so if you add um if you add the circulating supply if you add the total um, value of the token that has that is locked and also that has been staked in treasury that have been invested that have been used uh, offered for liquidity pool it to amount to this all right so that is total supply for you so they are two different things they are two different things and then here is the total value lock this has been locked maybe in the treasury or for staking or liquidity or something so here shows a a, a, a graph of the market price from december feet so we can see the mid token at december feet we had the price of 0 0.18 and december 6 we had a little drop and 7 we had a little pump again and that is how it goes to to this december 11 this um yesterday's price and up to here this is december 12 today's price so this shows the graph or should i call it the analytics of the price movements each day and then this chart here actually shows the distribution all right 
you can see the green area shows the X meat that has been staked 65.73% sushi swap this is actually the value in sushi I think this is for liquidity pool in sushi and then we have the vested tokens the purple you can see the 3.2% and then the liquidity also in commerce swap you know this commerce swap and sushi swap they are dexes that the meat token is available where you can trade them so we need liquidity there so that's what we have there so if you add all of this together it should give you the total supply that is including the circulating supply so that's that about i think this is just a brief explanation of the bits to economics see you guys in our next video thanks for watching